Alzheimer's Awareness Day, Action Day, I guess. Um, it affects about half a million Canadians directly, but as we all know, that impacts on the families uh, as much or more so than the victims. Um, we have a touching reminder today that it, it can affect everyone. Um, Lisa, uh, you married an absolutely wonderful man named Bruce Wood in Cape Breton earlier this month. I did. Uh, it's not quite the perfect picture. Uh, tell yeah. us about Bruce. Well, he's a great guy. Um, today is World um, Awareness Day, and mm -hmm. I was asked by Alzheimer's Society if I would consider um, giving a statement in the House, member statement, and I just felt that knowing that Bruce was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's back in May, that it would be hard for me to not recognize and acknowledge the fact that we're one of those families that are affected by it. Mm -hmm. I have a caregiver role with my kids. I will have a caregiver role in the future with my husband. That's mm -hmm. just the way it is, and we'll continue down that path. In the meantime, um, I want the best way for him to function as well as he's functioning right now, which is great. He beats you in golf, Don, quite Easily. frankly. <laughs> He's, he's very good at golf um, and you know he still has his driver's license but it it's kind of opened my eyes to the struggles that Canadian families have mm -hmm. when it comes to a diagnosis like this which is shocking I can imagine how, how did you get to that diagnosis because we all have memory lapses and we always yeah. wonder oh are we facing something how, how did he get there so I'm glad you asked because part of the reason why I wanted to talk today was about stigma and I know for a fact what happened was probably people at work noticed that Bruce was missing meetings or not remembering people's names or having trouble finding a word when he was uh, discussing matters at a board level or at a meeting. So it progressed for a while. I mean, they often say that you're probably a year and a half in mm -hmm. before you realize um, that you should go see a doctor. We went to see a doctor. Doctor does a very quick test and you end up going to see a specialist and it's only through cognitive kind of testing do you find it because there's no real there's no blood test to tell you unless you want to do some genetic testing mm -hmm. but that doesn't work for everyone either mm -hmm. but I uh, you know we got a diagnosis on May 22nd of this year and since then we have uh, we've cleaned up his diet he exercises he sleeps it's lesser stress and you know he's doing a lot better than than before um, before we got the diagnosis uh, I mean, this is a personal story, but how, how would you tell others, in fact, how have you used your experience? How do you prepare for this? I mean, this is not a curable disease, right? You can maybe deal with symptoms if you can a bit, but yeah. how do you prepare? How are you preparing for this? Well, day-to-day um, -day life is very much the same. I mean, I come to Ottawa, Bruce is at home, uh, and he's still, as I said, he's still driving and mm -hmm. continue to drive for a while. So we don't really see that big a difference in our lifestyle, a lot more cognizant about having a really good diet and I read a lot more at night in terms of how to keep your brain healthy and active, continue to work, work on puzzles, do those kinds of things because everybody has a chance of developing Alzheimer's as you get older and you've got to be mindful of it. I often say, you know, our parents were terrified of cancer when we were younger. Um, my generation's a little bit afraid of Alzheimer's and mm. All those movies that you see coming out, I don't focus and dwell on the sad parts. That's a story to be written. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this ends, but in the meantime, we got married. We had a great wedding. Um, I'll continue to fight to ensure that he has the best care possible. He's and 56. He's 56. I always thought this was an old person's disease. Clearly not. No, it's not. It's rare. It's rare in early onset, um, and there's no defined timeline, Don. Like I don't know how long, um, you know, I'm going to have. Uh, gonna have the best husband in the world but I'm gonna have it as long as I can and I'm a fighter I'm gonna continue to fight to find the best care we can for him and improve diet and exercise and read 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 and push for that cure and awareness and one thing you're doing obviously you've probably done tons and tons of research but is, yeah. is there there's, is, there's no set path forward I guess it varies dramatically right I mean yeah from the moment you're diagnosed till you know you're debilitated or incapacitated or whatever it can be months or years it can or be years it can be many years it can be 20 years um, there's no real set p time there's you kind of get an idea if you google online you can be told some bad stories and be told some heartwarming wonderful stories I choose as I said to focus on what we can do and the tools that we have and continue to fight never give up now obviously we're uh, you juggle a job you've got you've got kids you yeah. know, young children as well and he has children he as has well children. Uh, how are you going to handle this? I mean, is he supportive of you staying in politics or even going on to bigger things? That's that's a conversation for another day, by the yeah. way. But is he with you on this? 
hundred percent. I mean, every family who ends up with a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, regardless of the age, you do have to take stock of, of how you're going to balance it all out. And I have great neighbors and we have great family. And as I said, you know, this is early onset. It's at a very early stage. We know what it is. We mm -hmm. can recognize it. He's, he's not working. Um, because as you know, he's an executive CEO, very difficult to continue when you have diminished cognitive abilities. Uh, my kids and I have learned one thing. We have infinite patience and I can find anything in the house at any given time. So when he says, do you know where my phone is? I actually do know where it is. And we have places where we keep everything and we're a far more organized household, Don, I would say. Well, he's an amazing guy. Give us our, him, him our best because you know, it's, it's a tragic thing. Anyway. Thanks, Don. Thank you for telling your story. Thank you, the rest of the MPs, for coming on and telling your, your perspectives.